As I sat there in my seat, I quickly realized how easy and how simple it could be for me to be Andy. Likewise, I immediately realized how easy and how simple it could be for my 16-year-old son to be Robbie. I sat there and pondered many thoughts. I felt the emotion in the room. Although I read the script before I came, I wanted to come with a fresh mind. I wanted to see the play. Like many of you, I thought back to Columbine, 1999. Two individuals walk into a school and systematically gunned down 13 classmates and injured many others. And I recall that right after that event, the news reporters and the psychiatrists and the experts on TV all said that maybe it was because these two individuals were part of some dark underground culture, gothic culture. Or maybe even it was because they listened to rock music, in particular, Marilyn Manson. 1999, an urban kid, I said, wow, music can make you kill somebody? Interesting. Fast forward to 2012, East Coast, Connecticut, Sandy Hook, sole gunman walks into a school and deliberately guns down 20 little boys and girls, six teachers. And I recall again, after that event, the news reporters and psychiatrists, experts all said that they went to the shooter's house and he had gun magazines and violent video games. Again, urban man, I was sickened because now I was a father, unlike in Col when Columbine happened. I was sickened as a father, but I thought, wow, damn, video, guns can make you, video games can make you kill somebody? Interesting. And then not so long ago, recently, right in our own backyard, right in Waukesha, Wisconsin, two little girls are at a birthday party, and they conspire to kill one of their classmates. They plotted for many months, finally getting the opportunity. They lured a little girl into the woods, and they stabbed her 19 times. Afterward, they told authorities that they did it all to pledge their allegiance to Slender Man. For those of you who don't know, Slender Man is a fictional online internet character. Urban dude, like, shit, Slender Man can make you kill somebody? The internet can make you kill somebody? Music in Columbine, video games in Sandy Hook, Slender Man in the internet in Waukesha. Experts were then telling me that external elements can influence otherwise decent kids' behavior. So I asked myself as I sat there, do I know any kid that was like Robbie before he was the Robbie that we found out about tonight? The answer is yes. I know a kid. Kid was raised in a decent family, loving mother, loving grandmother. Family support system was strong. Smart kid like Robbie. Skipped grades in school, graduated early. Fun kid, loving kid, loved the Brewers, loved the Bucks. Love the monkey police. Little kid, he would run to the police cars and say, can I get a baseball card? He went on to UWM, wanted to study architecture. So yeah, I know a kid like Rob. He had all the potential in the world. And the anguish and anger we felt from Andy is because his son had all of that potential, like the young man I know. And when I searched for that individual, who do I know like him, I didn't have to search far because that individual was me. And I thought back and said to myself, an individual with so much potential, but still ended up going to prison, still ended up being shot nine times, still ended up in a coma. And I remember the day, July 12th, 2 p.m. I can remember it like it was yesterday. And my immediate thought when I was shot is my son is going to hate me. Not an hour later, I mean immediately, within a millisecond, my thought was, my son is going to hate me. I just became a stat. I thought I was going to die. Well, I didn't.
when I looked around the room, I surveyed the room before I took the stage, and I thought to myself, we are so enthralled by this story. We are so passionate about what we're hearing. We're so all attached. And even though we all knew the end of the story, had we had a magic wand, we probably would have tried to change the end. Then I wondered, is it because we feel for Andy? Was it because of their lifestyle, the middle class family? Did we feel because Robbie had so much potential? Or did we, are we so attached to the story before the nine individuals that were murdered? I don't think anybody cared or concerned was concerned for my mother on July 12th. Family maybe, the world I didn't think it wasn't. If nine victims is the threshold for our attachment, we're all intent, we were all focused on Andy's story. If nine victims is the threshold, I'll give you a different number. 152, 152. 152 is the number of murders that occurred in Milwaukee, Wisconsin in 2015. More appalling, 127 of those 152 were the murders of black men, women, boys, and girls. 127, that's like two, one every two days. So as I leave here, the charge that I ask everybody is whether it's nine victims spread out or 127 victims spread out over the course of a year or nine victims in a matter of minutes, it's still mass murder. We must need everybody, everybody, to be as passionate, concerned, sincere, and sympathetic to all the Andes, all the Cathy's, who's my mother, who suffer from the violence of guns. We need everybody to be focused on unity and solution. Thank you.